Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz Universe. We are going to catch up with the epic sniper hero accurate. My free to play account that I made specifically in World of Blitz. Um, I think it was actually an update 5.7? 5.6 or 5.7. I'm, I'm quite a long time ago. I made it for the sole purpose of really figuring out what the changes in 5.5 were about. And I have done uh, earlier videos, obviously. I have talked through the changes in update 5.5 and what I think of them. I have been reading them out in the first two videos. And this game is actually the first game I played in the Hatsa. Put up a poll on my community page earlier on and, and well, the result of that was that people wanted me to go towards the Jagdpanzer E100, E100 line. And if you want to get up the Jagdpanzer E100 line, you have to play this tank, the Hatsa. And you can see that we are already two minutes into the game. The first minute was literally just driving forward and oh my lord a stock hats it's a pain to play i mean i mean you can use nice he shots on the side of a, a m8a1 but you will get penetrated and your lower play no problem whatsoever then again he has uh, a broken engine so there's no way he will be able to back up quickly enough but just look at this I'm just crawling forward, and it might be due to the fact that I'm in, in sand on soft terrain. But I played this one and thinking, God, this is awful. <coughs> I'm not quite sure how much uh, my crew is at in terms of uh, crew mastery. I think they might well be at 75, because uh, Wargaming have done some changes in that regard i think you can get uh you might be even be able to get the crew to 100 now for just sheer credits and, and not having to worry about uh, spending gold which is good for me because uh, i can i can then get my gold my crews uh, fully trained and not waste any gold because this is a free to play account and yes the games last longer because it takes forever to shoot from time to time and then people are left at three hit points which is annoying so we're gonna use he and uh, we can't shoot him now because he's behind a little bit of a building and a, and a tent and yeah we can shoot that tank at three but what i was saying basically is that i can understand why people in the lower tiers um, get used to camping a lot if you play a tank destroyer like this, or uh, an M7 stock, or I think most of the tanks, except the light tanks stock, they are god awfully slow. They are so slow, it takes forever to drive around. You can see I've basically been sitting here in, on this side of the ridge or on the other side. I'm, I've not done a lot and everybody's sort of revolving and driving around me in circles and I'm, I can hopefully now shoot this M7. Come on. Ah, pfft. <laughs> takes forever to aim as well with guns with uh, a non fully trained crew in, in in the form of not having my crew skills up i am used to that i am still only slightly noob free but uh, crawling up the hill in the panzer 3 can shoot me and i can't even bring the gun to bear on him like i said i can understand why people start to resort to camping in in these lower tiers and that's an a20 not that really strange hyper buffed op version uh or 5.9 uh, this one the tricks oh. hey. um and i, I didn't i didn't play the hatsa or any tank from sniper hero accurate in update 5.9 because i had other fish to fry other tanks to play lost a bit of interest in 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 uh, playing the game altogether and i just didn't want to yeah, get dirt up the arse, but by an A20, you were just roaming around. I still have a 7 kill replay um, sitting in, uh, or replay footage sitting in the pile of Resenia games that need to be re uh, need to be sorted out and then published on a channel. But this game, you can see we, we did quite well. This was the f literally first game, and you can see it's still all missions, and I've done 1050 damage, get a bit of credits. I'm using premium account, you might think, Martin, 
What are you doing? This was a free to play account, wasn't it? Yes, this is completely free to play. I've not used premium time in the sense of buying it. I got certificates from containers and the free stuff, that's what I'm using. I'm not buying premium time, uh, not going to buy boosters. Everything I'm going to use on this account will come from missions, rewards, daily containers, weekly containers, uh, stuff like that. And obviously the missions have been changed, so um, it remains to be seen how well that will uh, uh, pan out later on when I return to grinding out Sniper Hero Accurate. I must admit I switched towards the Panzer 4D because uh, I'm still grinding, <laughs> grinding towards the Jagd Panzer even on it myself. And I don't want to go through the Stuk, the Jagd Panzer 4 and the Jagd Panther again. I will play a few games on these tanks in my main account um, just to, to really, well, complete this uh, grind uh, for, for, for purposes of, of videos, but uh, I won't do a full grind. The tank here, chapter called Pimping Mirad, this is a Hatsa with um, the fully upgraded engine. I had accumulated enough uh, XP <coughs> to get the two engines done in consecutive games. I think that one game was enough to, to get the first engine and then the second one. Still have the tracks to do, get the uh, Top Gun. But all in all, this, you can see, this is looking so much better. I mean, it's a tier 4 tank. With a tier, uh, tier 4 tank with a tier 2 engine, it just doesn't work. And I do have a good gun, and I do have gun depression, and I was not going to roll in really quickly at first. Bit hesitant to go into the cap, <coughs> because I'm not sure who is sitting in the bushes over there on the right side. But I can now probably shoot a tank down below using gun depression. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, chameleon. On the side. No. Nope. Not gonna work. Yes, will work. Yeah, on the back. <coughs> 144, bit of a lower draw. I could have used AP. And now, map awareness comes in because the Chiha kills the M5 Stewart. And we are getting flanked by an M7. And those M7s, they are mediums in the tier 4. But, God, those have troll armor profiles if you are a top tier tank i'm not saying it it's like a like a heavy <coughs> because it is not it's a medium tank after all but it is quite reddish and it do, it packs uh, quite a good punch as well uh, same uh, as i'm doing at the moment uh, but just look at that it, it is i mean frontally it can go through but once you start wiggling around, it's all a little bit rounded and stuff. I think it might be a good seal clubbing tank if you're into that kind of stuff. This game, however, it's going to look a bit pear-shaped. It's going to be a bit pear-shaped, as you can see. Hello, M7, you are going to bounce. Yes, block 120, oh, into the building. <coughs> but luckily, I had been paying attention and I knew that Matilda was going to move in. So I'm going to sit here behind the rock and use the bushes to get a shot in onto the Matilda, I think. Am I going to shoot? I'm not quite sure if I was. I was figuring he, he would pop. No way he will be able to have his camo that well trained. Oh, be, uh, yeah, yeah, there he is. He's on the other side now. There we go. Can we shoot him now? Come on, mate. Tracks. Through the tracks. Uh, gonna try my luck. Yeah, bounce. Or... Oh. Mm. What we have to do now, we have to kill that M7 then, I think. Where's the Matilda? Can I shoot him now? The BT7 is down. That one goes into the wall again. This is not looking good. <coughs> <coughs> this is not looking good at all. I'm going to pop adrenaline because I'm using the premium consumables. Um, is that a good idea? Well, i got premium time, so I can use them now. And I can hopefully kill this Matilda before he runs away through the tracks again. Yeah, only try damage. We need to kill that M7, guys. We need to kill that M7. Otherwise, we're our toes because that M Matilda can just punch through. Luckily, the M7 is preoccupied by the BT7. We bounce on the front of the M7. There we go. And BT7 is doing a good job. He is doing a magnificent job of just running away, being kind of fodder. Uh, and he's dead now. <coughs> so that is a two on five. Two on five. Come on, M7, come on. Yeah, what? Ah, 16 left. 16. Mm, this is not, not good. I don't want to have 16 left. Where is the Matilda? 
Where is the Matilda? Uh, uh, you're going to move forward, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to move forward. I'll just pre-aim then. Hello. Yes. Gotcha. Gotthof. Erwicht. Gegner has his Fahrzeug ausgeschossen. Where's the Matilda? He must be flanking around. We have a tank on the base as well, and I can't really poke out because he don't know where the Matilda is. He's not behind me. I would have spotted him probably. I think he's flanking, or is he going back? Where's that guy? Where did you go, mate? Issue 85B, right? He's behind the cap. I can't shoot him. There's another tank on the cap. The Panzer. You can I shoot him? No shot not available. Where's the Matilda? I've got time to reset the cap. So. <coughs> you can see. Oh, hello, Matilda. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I got him. Like that, you can see if you start a new account and if you are, well, knowledgeable about the game and if you know what you are doing and you know the lines aside and the positions and, and how people can drive around and then get spotted or not, then you can really rack up the damage. And we have to move in. Oh, hello, Stuart. <laughs> we have to move in now and try to clear. We've reset the cap. It is a 2 and 2. I'm not too, let's say, uh, confident in my teammate. And is this guy a bot? Oh, yeah, he's looking at me. He's not shooting. Bots do tend to drive around once you start shooting them. I don't think he. Oh, he's not a bot. He's shooting me. And he's using cover. Oh, he's not a bot. <coughs> Got to kill you now. And leave one hit point. <laughs> I love my team is pro, yeah, oh, let's use HE, there we go, bomb, bomb, bomb. You can see uh, Stuart has got good, um, what was I going to say, good penetration, good rate of fire on his magazine. So, people will be reluctant to move out and, and go out in the open if you have tanks like uh, Stuart who's able to do 120 in a magazine or if you get shot by tank destroyers behind bushes and if you just don't know the lines of sight. I think in the lower tiers, for all the changes that have been made, it still doesn't promote really active gameplay. It pays off in uh, to, to sit in the back in the beginning and uh, preserve your hit points. And the Panzer 4D, shout out to you, mate. You did a really good job at sitting behind the rock and just, well, holding off the enemy, which allowed me to clean up. And shout out to the BD7 as well. So, yeah. A new installment of Sniper Hero Accurate More videos more games will follow soon thank you very much for watching this time and let's check we've got 3694 yes we can upgrade the tracks 7000 to go to get the top gun that's going to be the next video bye bye for now thank you very much for watching my name is martin dogger please subscribe if you haven't already cheers happy tanking